<clears throat> What's up guys? For yellow and red. It's Henry and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well because um I do well and I'm very very excited for today's video. Before we jump into the DIY, I wanted to tell you guys like a quick story time. So in my last video, I've told you guys that I'm like into jewelry a lot, especially into rings. And I've ordered a couple of rings on the internet. Well, it turned out they haven't been shipped yet. And nevertheless, I thought like, um, in the meantime, why not doing jewelry, especially at rings myself and turn this into a DIY together with you guys. So here I am standing in the middle of my basement, which is apparently looking like crap, but like standing here in the basement in the middle of the night shooting this video and I have the, like, the feeling this is going to be so cool. I'm currently like very, very terrified because I'm like currently binge watching The Haunting of Hill House on Netflix with my sister to get like in the Halloween mood, you know? And like, I, it turned out like this wasn't like the best idea I had because I wasn't aware of that I'm going to shoot a video in my basement. That's it, like stop the talking, let's jump right into the DIY. So what I was like talking about is like I'm into jewelry and I wanted to do rings together with you guys. I've tried this once in my life and it turned out pretty good, not bad but not like super perfect so this is the ring like my very very first ring I've ever done initially I got like the idea from TikTok obviously I was on my for you page like scrolling through my for you page and there was this guy turning old cutlery into piece of jewelry like rings and I was like super inspired so I ran right off into my kitchen took like the little spoon I could found with like a cool looking engravement in there or something like that and uh, turned this into a ring for today's video I decided to do some more rings of old cutlery I bought from my local lift thrift shop and I even Decided to go a little bit professional and I've ordered like a ring kit from Amazon I'm gonna tag this like I'm gonna link this kit in the description below So we're gonna figure this out together how this is going to work And of course what I can fully recommend and I'm afraid that most of you guys don't have but maybe you find like a different solution Is a vise So I'm using this vise it's like super heavy and it's not obviously screwed to the table but that doesn't matter. And of course, a metal saw. So this is like a saw where you can saw like through metal. And of course, a grater. So this is like the grater I'm gonna use. I think this is like for metal. And of course, for your safety, you're gonna need some goggles. Mine are like very, very dirty. Today's like sign science day guys this is like my tool little setup i'm gonna use for my diy today and yeah let's jump right into the diy all right guys i've been figuring out how to do the setup for a while now but i think this is like the perfect setup i can share so what we have here is our cutlery our measurement tools for safety, our glasses, which I'm gonna put on now. Looking like very, very hot. And um, yeah, our tool here. So what we're gonna do first is, um, I'm gonna choose a cutlery, which I'm gonna turn into a ring. So I think the first one I'm gonna do is this one. And this looks like, this reminds me of like a animal print. And I think I'm gonna turn this into a ring which fits me at the middle finger. So I figured out that um, for the middle finger, I have size eight and this fits me very well. So we're gonna turn this into our ring. And for my measurement, this says that we're gonna use 58 millimeters. So I'm gonna put this into my vise here and we're gonna cut this on the other side as well. Now we're gonna smooth out um, the edges 
And especially for this, you I can recommend to use like goggles because you don't want to have like little pieces in your eyes. The sound is like immaculate. Okay. So I think this is like nice and smooth now and it looks like this. So this is like 58 centi uh, millimeters and we're gonna bend this now. Let's see how this is going. Now it's in there and we're gonna hammer it around. Let's see how this is working. Nothing at all. <laughs> it's not working at all. Yeah, this is way better. When we have banded once, we're gonna turn this thing a little bit more. Looking like this right now, so... Alright guys, I'm done. So this is like the final ring. Um, it looks cool, I guess. Like the structure of this ring looks very, very cool. And um, I had to have it a little bit loose, like on this part because otherwise I don't get it over my joints and uh, since like the last time I had like so such strong anxieties not getting this off uh, I don't want to risk it anymore so this is like the perfect size it looks a little bit weird from the other side because when you bend it it's like very very hard to bend it like evenly I mean it's my second ring so I'm like very confident with that. So for my next ring, I'm gonna use definitely a spoon because I have like a feeling the spoon is way easier than this big ass fog. I think I'm gonna do this little rose petal next, which looks super fancy and I can't wait to see how this is like turning out. And um, this is also easier to bend. That means that you can work with a rubber, like this is like a rubber thing on top or plastic, I don't know, and not metal because this might get be like, this would be bad if it has like it if, if it leaves like stains from the hammer. So we're gonna do this one next. Okay, so I trimmed off like the spoon thing and we're gonna bend our next ring. And why that? I have something very, very exciting to tell because I'm releasing another song. And this song is going to be released this week's Friday. So when this video comes out, it will be tomorrow. And I can't wait uh, to share with you guys the new song. I have worked like very hard on it. And um, it's something very, very different from what I've done before. And I can't wait what you guys think. So this is like so exciting news because like the last time I've uh, released a song that was in August or something like that and now it's time to release another song I guess so yeah the time has come and I'm releasing a new song which is pretty dope look at this ring it is so beautiful this is like how it looks like and it's so beautiful! Oh my god! <laughs> Guys, look at this beautiful ring. I, I, I'd say this is perfect. This is like the best ring I've done so far. And it's for my thumb. And it fits perfectly. Oh my god. It's not too tight, not too loose. It fits perfectly, oh my god! And it has like this little bird on it. Alright you guys, I'm back. It's the other day. Um, I figured out that it's not very smart to start filming a video in the middle of the night. Hammering. So I decided to stop the video the last... Like yesterday um, in order to not molest my <laughs> neighbors so um, here I am it's the next day filming this video I'm gonna continue some 
some more rings and I wanted to tell you guys I have a new necklace it's a new necklace and it looks like this it has like one half is full of safety pins and the other half is like full of pearls and I really like it it looks cool my sister gave it to me she did it herself it's like a DIY she did and I love it it gives me that kind of e-boy soft boy vibe which I really like so I'm gonna continue with some more rings so what I wanted to add is I figured that um, you will have stains when you try to bend your um, ring so I figured out that when you tape this like your vise it doesn't leave stains on the ring and it keeps the ring kind of more like safe also sanding it is quite a noise it's like so annoying I don't know why like my neighbors didn't say anything like the last night because this was freaking loud guys this is my favorite ring right now it looks so cool it's like twisted and it looks so cool oh my god this one turned out so much better than actually this one this was like my first one and this is the other one so this is twisted way more like perfectly and this is more like makeshift hey guys um i'm back and um i went thrift shopping again like for the thousands of time but like i love thrift shopping and um i didn't really look like for cutlery but like mainly for clothes but I even found cutlery which like two forks which I found like very cool so I got them and they were like 20 cents or something like that and they look so cool I think like this could be a really really cool ring I can even do two rings out of this guys I'm back and I think I'm finally done I guess like at this kind of moment I thought like I'm gonna stop this I have so many like cutlery left which I still have to do or can turn into rings but at the moment I'm like completely done and you are probably thinking what I done with the two forks I just showed you and I turned them actually into rings but one of the fork was actually too small so I decided to do a little chain and I love this it like I don't know I really like it and it, I cannot imagine that I did it actually by myself because it looks like I bought it somewhere, I don't know. And I'm like so confident with like the final results. I'm genuinely thinking this is my new hobby, my new secret hobby, which I absolutely admire. So um, yeah, I guess now it's time to check out the final rigs. <laughs> guys that's it um i generally think that i'm gonna do way more rings like in the future because there's so many like cutlery left and like in general i think like this is a very very good way to upcycle old cutlery into something more individualized like diying your own jewelry come on guys what do you want more this is like so cool i hope you guys like felt a little bit inspired by this video and had like fun as much as i did so if you like this video then feel free to give it some thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet then feel free to subscribe to the channel for more diy videos in the future and also check me out on my social media which is linked here and i just wanted to say a little quick reminder tomorrow the 30th of october my new song is coming out i just I don't have to say anything about that. I think that's like pretty obvious what to do. So guys, I love you so much and I can't wait to be back in the next video with more DIY videos. So I guess I'm out. See you soon. Bye. Ciao.